Hey friends, tonight's recipe is some sticky sugar glaze drumstick. These are very yummy guys and I guarantee you'll definitely enjoy it. It is something new and delicious and I think the whole family will love it. So stay tuned if you're interested and enjoy. So to start out this recipe, you want to first bring a little bit of oil to heat in a pan or pot of your choice. And you want to go ahead and turn this down on low heat. So the next thing you want to do is add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper to your chicken and you just want to season that. Make sure you wash your chicken first. After you're done, you want to go ahead and add a little bit of chopped garlic to this and you want to just go ahead and mix that thoroughly to incorporate that flavor and infuse everything nicely. Take your time, absolutely no rush. Once you're done, you want to take a little bit of cornstarch and you want to go ahead and take each pieces of your drumstick and you just want to coat these drumsticks within it. You want to make sure they're cold thoroughly, you know, top, bottom, you don't want to miss anything and then you want to just set these aside and go ahead and repeat this step. So once you've coated all your drumsticks now, you want to go ahead and just set these aside for about 5 to 10 minutes before you move on to your frying process. After your few minutes is up, you want to go ahead and make sure your oil is hot and just drop each drumstick in here. Don't add too many because you don't want to overwhelm your pot. So you want to go ahead and just crush a little piece of garlic and just mince that up. This is for later use. And then you want to go ahead and with a little piece of chili pepper just for the heat. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. You just want to slice this in half and remove the seeds. Unless you want your super hot, then leave the seeds in. So once you've removed all your seeds or you can just go ahead and cut this up or you can leave them whole. The choice is really up to you. It's really what you prefer. So once your drumsticks are all done, you want to go ahead and turn them to ensure that they cook evenly and thoroughly on both sides. And then once that is finished, you want to go ahead and just remove these onto a paper towel to drain the excess oil. Alright, and then you can go ahead and repeat the process and fry the rest of your drumsticks till you are all finished. Oh my goodness, don't these just look amazing? You can eat them just like these crispy KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken or you can stay tuned and wait for my special sauce to add on top of this. It is super delicious and I definitely guarantee you'll enjoy it. Alright, so to start out this special sauce, in a frying pan you want to bring some oil to heat and then once that is done you want to just saute a few garlic cloves. And then you just want to stir that together and add about a cup to about a cup and a half of water. And then once that is done, you want to go ahead and add a little bit of soy sauce, a good amount actually. I'll put everything in the description box. Now I'm adding a little bit of my balsamic vinegar. This is just going to give my sauce that kick that it needs. Once that is done, I'm going to add my brown sugar. And you want to add a good amount of this brown sugar. So now I'm going to go ahead and stir this and add my chili peppers to this whole and I'm just going to give this a nice little stir now until it comes to a boil. After which you can keep stirring and then you can just let this sit until it begins to boil and then eventually as you see it will start to thicken and your sauce will just become like almost like a syrup like mixture. But you don't want your sauce to burn so please keep that in mind. So once it's nice and thick you can go ahead and add your drumstick pieces in this. And then you just want to go ahead and flip these and incorporate these drumsticks with the sauce. This is where all the deliciousness come in. Add a little bit of water if your sauce starts to burn a little or starts to stick too much because the point is you don't want it to be too caramelized otherwise it will taste a little bit sweet-ish and bitter at the same time and you definitely don't want that so add water if you need and then just add the rest of your drumstick and continue to incorporate this. Once that is done you just want to keep continuously turning your drumsticks just until you know they're pretty much nice and dark brown to your liking and just to give that sauce time to infuse within that crispy skin. So now here is the finished touch. Everything is all done. The dish is completed. I hope you guys try this dish and enjoy. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next dish. Bye. Don't mind Maxie in the background. <laughs>